We are swamped with information at this particular point. I was just talking earlier today about the fact that when we open up electronic health record, we actually feel like we're in a, we're in a sea. We're just bobbing in a, in a violent sea. We can work on a computer system that could be completely on a different unit or even a different building uh, and may not have that normal you know, uh, interaction where you're exchanging information where the nurse might say, you know, Dr. Xiao, I just saw this patient and you know, he, 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 he's having trouble swallowing, he can't get up and walk anymore. By the time a patient's vital signs change, um, you can be in a lot of trouble. And so what this graph showed me was here is a tool that might give us the chance to intervene on patients who can die if we don't notice it. The history of it's absolutely incredible, right? You know, two, two brothers that were touched by um, a family, uh, an event that happened to a family member, and just sort of committed themselves to saying, we have got to make things better. We've got to make things better for the millions of people who walk through clinics and hospital wards every day. The Rothman Index, ParaHealth's Rothman Index, uh, was something that was quite intriguing to us because it took data that was in disparate forms, in documentation by nurses, in laboratory values, and so forth, and it actually helped you derive and predict what was happening and will happen to a particular patient or groups of patient patients, and then that allowed us to put interventions in place. Um, to try to drive clinical care in a way that without that aggregation of data, without that aggregation of data points, uh, was not really possible. The news and the news, the other early warning um, scores out there, they wait till your heart rate, your blood pressure, or your respiratory rate, and your SAT have done something. When you could have really seen when someone started to kind of hang back and not have that appetite and not be doing the activity that they normally do. And that's what nurses pick up. But now that we do 12-hour shifts, it's hard for a nurse to walk into a room and appreciate that trend, and that's what the Rothman gives us. The ability to look back, because you can actually then trend the Rothman. You don't have to just look at it just now, static. You can look at that trend. By it linking the vital signs and the lab values and the nursing assessment data in a unique way, it takes that EMR data and provides it to the clinician in a way that is hopefully helpful to them to understand that patient's conditions. What's um been compelling, I think, when I talk to other physicians about the Rothman Index is it's completely integrated into our electronic system. Uh, it's not like, you know, you have to go and, you know, pull up, uh, you know, an app on an iPhone that isn't integrated. By being integrated, it's really front and center in the conversation. We believe that the combination of the new SWAT nurses and the, their use of the Rothman Index um, was what helped drive down mortality. And they, they say it has, they know it. We use the Rothman almost as a report, if you will, in the, in the morning and at the beginning of the, the night shift as well. And we would peruse the Rothman Indexes by floor. We would know which floor we would round on first um, and inquire on specific patients based on what we were seeing, trends, declines or even just low, a low Rothman. Um, and over time, um, we were pleasantly surprised that the data bared out over several months that with that key introduction of the SWAT team using the Rothman that we had a decrease in mortality. Literally looking at the Rothman in real time, seeing the Rothman fall, going in and actually assessing the patient with the rest of the nursing staff and seeing number one, the patient didn't seem acutely ill, but within a very short period of time became ill and that there was an opportunity for an interdiction to the point that the last story I heard, that's actually what happened. Given that data, they decided to bring in uh, additional consultation, additional medical therapy that actually led to, stopped a, 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 pr a process that was ongoing, a septic process that was ongoing. So that was actually a pretty uh, a fantastic story. And they used the Rothman Index, especially at the point of discharge, to ensure that a patient who may have a higher score has all the needed resources at discharge. And what that does is it really averts readmissions and ensuring that the patient and the family have what they need to go home. It's something that's now uh, a reflex, um, you know, just like you go in and want to take a look at the vital signs and the medications and you know any notes, uh, progress notes or consultants left. Um, you want to look at the Rothman score and say, you know, wh where are we today? 
uh, what do we need to do and wh where are we heading and how are we going to get there. My entire career is built on having to try to have clinical and financial people be able to talk similar languages. So uh, the Rothman has been important from that perspective. I think what the Rothman Index does is uh, really helps us to see the forest for the trees. You know, we can look at the individual data points, but bring it all together and kind of, you know, turning it into, uh, you know, something that's prognostic or something that tells a story about where the patient's going uh, allows us to take action when it's really needed. It gives you a chance and sometimes a second chance because you missed it the first time around. You've got another chance to intervene and affect a life, a family's life. I mean, it just, it, the benefits are endless. So Rothman Index has really supported the right patient in the right bed at the right time, and it's really built what we believe is the safety net around the patient. And my, my SWAT nurses will tell you the Rothman doesn't lie. You know, so you can't ignore it.